I just heard something too. Yeah? Literally, send help. <laughs> oh, and no faces, please. Beside me, like, staring at I caught it. I caught it. I caught it. Did you get that? I caught it. I during that festival. You saw me taking my fear to new heights, pun intended, but now it's time to get serious. We are going inside of the oldest building in Amherstburg, Park House Museum. It is one of the haunted places here in Amherstburg, and we can't wait to end up getting going. Let's start. in the Park House Museum right now. We're about to end up starting our investigation. As you saw that we end up doing before at the Drummond Manor, we have uh, speakers set up down here. What these speakers are going to do is they're going to amplify vibrational noise. So what that means is that I'm, there's gonna be a vibrating hum that comes out, which is gonna end up producing a white noise throughout the entire building and hopefully it'll start to end up sparking the activity to, uh, to be getting here. This vibrational sound also produces a white noise that is theorized to help spirits gain energy in order to make themselves known. So, we know there's a family inside this museum. Your home has been converted into a public place for people to visit, but they're not here to learn your story like we are. We want to come in and learn about you. We want you to make yourselves present to us here. Make noises. Show yourselves. Even speak to us. Here, Kathy, you want to hold? Okay, two. We'll go maybe go by the doorway here. Just watch your step. Okay, just stand there. Actually, somebody, somebody follow Kathy into that room because that's the room I thought about. Is there anybody here that would like to communicate with us? Feeling in there. I don't get a feeling in here. Nothing? No, me neither. So there have been reports of possible 
after we're seen, uh, seen by the stair of the stairway going upstairs. I believe it's the front side. No, this stair. This stair? This one. This one, yeah. So uh, maybe try and do something there. Yeah. All right. Uh, upstairs from the other way. All right, Megan, you want to go with him? I just hit the follow you guys. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. Yeah. You did just walk upstairs. No, but it was racing as soon as we got to the bottom. Is there anybody up here with us right now? You don't have to be shy. We won't hurt you. We're not here to disrespect you. We just want to learn more about you, and that's it. Oh. I have goosebumps. Is there anybody in this room? And I'm here to disrespect you. Is Mr. Perk here with us? Is Mrs. Perk here with us? That is a little creepy. Mm -hmm. that is. At this point, I have Megan follow me into the next room where I get some information about some very interesting activity that happens that prompts me to look into it further. Oh, that is a lovely sight. Dolls. <laughs> Beautiful dolls. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> their, their butts are covered. <laughs> Um, so Mark Felto here, uh, he's one of the people who are going to be kind of uh, walking around a little bit while we investigate in here. And he just ended up alerting me to some information that one of, right at this window, that was you? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. There's a little door here. Um, I'll, I'll let you, uh, I'll let you explain it, Mark. There has been a, a a child spirit actually playing with Stephanie when she works here. So the curator. Oh, yeah. And she it opens the door. And so this is the door right here. It's kind of hard to open and there's nothing here. It leads to nowhere. So it's so just gonna, like a hiding spot. Yeah. So we're going to kind of Closed it the way it was, it kind of stuck a little bit like that. And just want to. Nothing's going to open that up. Okay, so that's pretty stuck in there. Hmm? You hold the button in the front, I think. That's, and you charge it. Wait till you charge it. You have to. You have to. Oh my God! <laughs> you wrapped it in it. You pull the tag out. Yeah, you hold this. So you're gonna charge, and then you hold it, and then you go. Yeah. <laughs> my Okay, so we're gonna walk to other spaces of the house. I know this is your play area, so there's a light there. If you want to play with that uh, black device there that has the green light, 
you are welcome to. You can do so without us being here if you want to play by yourself. So we're going to walk away and go somewhere else, and we're going to leave you be for a little bit. We then leave this room in an attempt to go and investigate other areas of the former home. Yeah. You I was standing literally right here. Yeah. I was standing here, I was coming I can feel coldness when I'm like right in this spot here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Um. Is it too long? Yep. Okay. Just let me know if there was some noise down here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's come down. Whereabouts? Oh, I heard like literally when you guys were in. Oh God! I just heard something too. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It was a drop. It sounded like something dropped. Let's go look at the thingy. That scared the crap out of me. No, no, no. Okay. Check this. Did you hear that? That's it was, off. It was a creak. No, it does that. It's it still recording. Creak. Oh, it's still recording? It's the tiniest little creak, but I heard it. Megan is startled by a noise in the empty room. This noise was picked up by the GoPro facing the K2 meter. Here it is with the boosted audio. Oh, God. I just heard something, too. Oh, God. I just heard something, too. Oh God. I just heard something too. Just, I just, just <laughs> relax. Oh just relax. I'm sorry. I heard, yeah. I, as soon as you so said cute. that, I heard a creak. I heard a tiny little creak, but it sounded oh, sticky. Trust me, we believe you. Okay, okay, okay. So, let's just take a, take a breather. Let's follow Mark and show us where he heard. Well, when you guys were in here, I heard, like, someone downstairs. Even that noise. What was that? That sounded like a mouse. Yeah, that sounded like a mouse. Mm. You don't like mice? No, 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 no. Mice would be literally bad. bad for here. Like, it doesn't sound like one, but they do make a, like a high squeak I noise, but it's not like that. Someone downstairs. Someone downstairs. Someone downstairs. Oh, I don't know, it's something weird in this area right here. Yeah. And like right where Kathy is standing is where I got goosebumps, and yes, I did film it. Okay. Is there somebody in this room right now with us? Or is there somebody on this floor with us? Did somebody in the other room, as soon as we left to go downstairs, make a noise? At this point in the investigation, it is best for us to split up. Megan and Ashley will be in Miss Park's bedroom on the second floor, while me and Kathy will be in Mr. Park's office on the main floor. Now there were rumors that noises of glass clanging together, as if there was somebody working and like swirling a drink or whatnot on a table, that has been heard in here. So we're basically going to do kind of a quiet, equipmentless uh, experiment. If anybody is in either of these two rooms, can you please give us a sign that you are here? I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm giving you uh, all the attention that I would like to give you. And even though somebody is in the room over here, I am here by myself. If you want, you can, you can touch my arms, you can touch my shoulder, even like a slight tap to say I'm here. Oh, that was my eyeball. <laughs> um, this I, I, I could tell you a little bit this is actually it's a cradle. Yeah. But it's it's completely different from any cradle. Mm -hmm. Because it is a cradle for funeral. Oh. Yes, for baby. Okay. Um this was actually built in Fort Molden. Okay. So That's not crazy. 
creepy to have beside your bed. No, but it, 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 they wear like a coffin and casket. Yeah. And it's a park environment. Mm-hmm. Okay. Megan, I'm getting chills. <laughs> Is anybody in here with us right now? What happened? I don't think it was that much there. There was like a creak in the floor as if somebody was sitting down. There's this, there's a wheelchair here in the corner that I swore I just, it's like somebody sat on it because you can feel the pressure in the floorboard mm -hmm. in, this, in this corner. Um, Mark just walked uh, into this area. And Mark, I do have a question for you sure. about this room. Yeah. In terms of the activity. Mm -hmm. Has anybody um, heard or f has anybody gotten anything from like this side of the room? Maybe? Yes. Okay. Yes. There has been some paranormal activity in this room. Okay. Um, <laughs> that basically that we did it like a singer's room and really yes it was like we, we did like a an event for halloween here okay and there was one of the chairs and i think it was the chair that was behind you okay we had it like literally in a way and when stephanie came back it was like like came in the morning it was actually moved to a different position huh. so she left it like that did she know that it was positioned a certain way before she came yes, in? Yes, she did. So she could confirm that it did change when nobody was yeah. around it. Yes. There's Sitting in the bedroom of Mr. and Mrs. Park. Is there anybody here with us right now? It is chilly up here. Feel my arms. I don't know if we'll be able to see it with the... It is, it is starting to get colder now. You are cold. It is starting to get colder now just because like the sun's gone down and I don't know if the heat is on in here or not, but it is. I, I'm... But like it's not like all of me is cold. It's just my arms. I know, I noticed that. <laughs> you are like... Oh, you're freezing on your arms. Yeah. Holy! And my hands, they're not that cold. Like, I don't, I'm normally, ch like, cold. My skin doesn't feel that cold. Like, I'm actually still warm, but you are freezing. Is anybody in this room with us that is making me feel this cold? Is there anything that you want to tell us about yourself or your story in this house? And if I may ask, I would like to ask why there is a death crib by your bed. I don't think I get answers for that. What is the name of the little child that likes to play with Stephanie in the window and open up the door by the window? Yeah? Yeah, we're doing a recording session. Okay. Okay. Yeah. just doing something very really good with by himself. We're doing a gastric department. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. It was my voice, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> it's apparently that's a cradle for like funerals. 
for children. It was from Fort Mulden. Um, Mark just told us. Are you serious? Yeah. So at one point, I believe it must have had a dead baby in it. Yeah, for sure. It's heavy in the kitchen too. Yeah, like it's just like as soon as I went from here, I just felt like I was just kind of like disoriented, like something was like energetically trying to push me back. Oh, I still have goosebumps in the later, right? What were you guys experiencing over there? Nothing. Like I was getting freezing. Like Megan was feeling my arms. Total goosebumps. Like my arms are still cold. Like look. Yeah, I mean they're still there, but not. Really no, this is from things. now because they kind of went away. Um, but no, we didn't. It is noticeably cooler upstairs. But that so could be because be it's why. getting cold outside exactly. too. Exactly. So that could be why. God, we don't know. In your opinion, what room? Do you think is like the most? The one that drives me in the most? The one with the fur. Perfect. Why, why do you yeah, why do you say that? It's just something, like something's pulling me over that way. Like I accidentally almost walked into it when I was trying to go upstairs. Like someone who's like saying like, come here, pull. Yeah. What do you say about taking Megan's camera? Okay. And going in there by yourself? Okay. With night vision only. Okay. Since Ashley had felt most drawn to the fur trade room, we begin to set her up to go solo in the room. She will be equipped with nothing but a night vision camera and on her own as everyone will be upstairs. This session is the raw, unedited footage that has only been cut down for time. Pay close attention to the relations between the camera's auto adjust and Ashley's experiences. Mm -hmm. Is somebody in this room with me right now? I just seen something go across the floor with my own eyes. And it is dark in here. It was white. Is somebody here with me right now? Mr. Park, is it you? Is it okay if I'm sitting in your fur trade room? Because like I was telling Brandon earlier, when I was trying to go back upstairs, it was like something was pulling me into this room and I almost walked into it. It just, it's 
sure something's playing with the back of my shirt. Because I pulled it. So I keep pulling it down, and next thing I know, it's like rising up my back. So something is definitely here. Something is definitely playing with my clothes. Who is in here with me? very strong emotions, like I am holding back tears right now. It's not a good feeling in here. Are you affecting my body right now? Are you trying to manipulate me? Something just touched my back. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, we're gonna go to the kitchen now. Thank you, kind sir. I don't even want to go in here. I do not like the feeling of both of these rooms, I do not like the feeling of. It feels the exact same in the other room. It does not help that I can't see sh okay, I'm gonna go upstairs now. I don't like it. Oh. Oh. Okay. We got a lake here. Jesus. Oh, that is so much better. Uh, I got touched. Really? On my back, and something was playing with the bottom of my shirt. Okay. And then, didn't get it on camera, but I seen it with my eyes and I said it, but I seen something right in front of me, pitch black, and it was a white ball. What, which one? That now, was which in the fur room. It was in the fur tree. Yeah. Did you, you went to the kitchen room? Yes, How was that? It felt the same, the exact same as the fur room. We brought out the uh, we brought out the, uh, the thermal bench. Mm -hmm. We brought out the thermometer. Yeah, I was hearing you. And after a little bit, it was actually getting colder right in this area. Like it yeah. was dropping down two degrees. I know, I could hear consistent. you talking. Okay, I'm gonna get a, just a quick little reading here. Staircase was reading 66 before. Going
going down to 60. I can't see it now. 61 or 64.1, 64. 64. Whoa, 64. Whoa, big spike. No, not a big spike, but it's getting colder. 63.8, 63.7, 63.6. 63.5. Is somebody down there on the stairs? If so, knock on the wood. Whoa, did you see I went down to 62 very quickly. Is there anywhere else you want to sit in by yourself? Right now, no. Okay. Because I am, I don't feel comfortable. Okay. Like it felt like, so turn around. Yeah. It felt like something was like this. Like just all right, right over your shoulder. Right beside me, like staring at me. Like that's how it felt. And then turn around and it was like this. This with my shirt, like I didn't just feel like this. I just like tugging it. And when I pulled bit. it down, I was sitting on it pretty much. And I could just feel it going. And then, like, a couple minutes after that, it was just... So you were getting touched in those rooms? It was only the fur, fur trade room. room. Which the is where you were getting drawn to almost the whole time. Yeah. But I don't think it was for a good reason. So you, what I want to do is you and me are going to go by ourselves in the dark with just this. Okay. And we're going to do an SB7 session. In the, uh... Room. I was like, for me, I would say it was worse just because I was getting touched. I seen the ball. Okay. Like it, and the face like felt like it was right beside my head. And then me zoning out, which you know me, I only do that if something is trying to communicate right. or take, like do whatever, right? Yeah. Like I came to, and my hands were all like folded, and my fingers were going. So, you, uh, both you and Megan, if you want, you can take like a quick break. Me and Ashley are going to go into those rooms okay. and do an SB7 session in there. Alright. Yeah. So, wish us luck! Good luck, guys. Oh, I'm so dizzy, actually. Fucking lights after sitting in the room. myself in the dark for like five minutes. Where's that bottom? Let's start with this room here. Yeah. Okay. Go on first. Yeah. If you want to see where I'm going here. Me, so okay, yeah. Too far. Whoa, it, whoa, whoa, whoa. I told you. Oh, it's, it's dark in here. And I'm not just saying that because of light. It is a different feeling in here I completely. Told you. Is somebody in here tagging on Ashley? If so, what was your name? Yeah. I'm coming back over here because I feel safer with you beside me. Yeah. Last time I was in this room, husband. Was it Mr. Park? Park. Mr. Park, were you the one that touched me? I guess I do. Is it male or female here? We want to confirm. Male. Yeah. Be quiet? Why are you telling us to be quiet? Her.
Should we go into the kitchen? What's what is over here? There's like something behind me, and I yeah, don't know I what told it is. You, that's what it's like in this room. Is somebody behind me? Yes. Brandon. Oh, some. What happened? Again, it was so, like almost what you experienced, like going like something like this. See, I told I you. Did you just touch my back? Is this your way of telling us that you want us out of this room? I'm shaking. Yeah, like th that was, and I don't know if it's because you reacted to me, but that was intense. Do you want us to leave this room? I think it doesn't want to say anything now. Yeah, okay, let's go try the kitchen. Oh my god, that was intense. Let me go over here. Get me out of this room. It's different in here. Whoa, you feel that? Yeah, can we, like, take a small, like, three second break? Yeah, because, like... I had, I had not felt that before. As Ashley and I go to collect our thoughts and take a break, we will replay everything that took place in chronological order during those five minutes. Who was in here with me last time I was in this room? Husband. Was it Mr. Park? Park. Is it male or female here? We want to confirm. Male. Yeah. Be quiet? Why are you telling us to be quiet? What's, what is over here? There's like something behind me, and I yeah, don't know I what told it is. You, that's what it's like in this room. Is somebody behind me? Yes. <laughs> Brandon. Oh, some. What happened? Again, it was so, like almost what you experienced, like going like something like this. See, I told I you. Did you just touch my back? As we all come back inside, Stephanie the curator stopped in off camera to check in on how it's going. As we were speaking to her, we all hear a loud thud. We are hoping her recent visit will reignite the activity. Okay. What I would do, Megan and Kathy, is kind of uh, stick around from that one room, kind of on standby, just in case we need you to, you know, come in. We're going to go back in that room completely solo, mm -hmm. nobody near the area. This time in the kitchen though, the summer kitchen, me and Ashley will go in there solo. We're gonna run the SV7 one more time and see if we get anything. Activity might pick up a little oh, bit more with you and I in there. I think when they know that Stephanie was here, they heard her voice. 
Yeah, that too. Yeah. And then so like, as literally as soon as we kind of asked her about certain room, bam, we ended up hearing that loud tap from up there. Um. So yeah, you and me are gonna go back into that room. If you want, even want to go upstairs, like both of you, maybe with Mark. Mm -hmm. then then do so again me and Ashley are going to go back in here we're going to go further down the hall um into the, into the kitchen area and uh, with the sp7 here and we're going to try and see if we make contact with whoever that was that decided to just jab me in the back mm -hmm. so. Yay. <laughs> don't like looking down there. I know. Do you want this? Just uh... I know, this is what I was like. You know what, I, I, just for this time, just so I can see where the fuck I'm going. Oh, just for this time. I don't walk too fast because it's connected to me. Okay. Yeah, this is about as far as I got into this room. So they're not there. It's... This is the summer kitchen area and it's heavy in here. My chest is hurting right now. All right, we're in a different room now. And we want to have you communicate to us the same way you did in that other room. Are you happy that we're back in the house? Hello. Hi, who was that that just came through? What? Okay, no, I was seeing a shadow over there. Oh, yeah, oh, see so you want, okay. Do you know one of our names? If so, can you tell us? Send help. Literally, send help. Who is asking for help? Woman. Is there anybody in here? Yeah. Who are you? And it just feels, it's lighter in here now. Like whatever was in here, it's gone. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off for a second. I think. Okay. Yeah, I think we can go like this. Nothing happened. And I do want to touch something. You don't have to go in, okay? I'm gonna open the door and just aim on it. No, no. Is somebody there, right? Oh. oh. It's me. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, guys. I literally thought somebody was coming down the stairs. <laughs> I mean, there is technically somebody coming down the stairs. I know somebody. <laughs> you just scared. You're somebody who scared the crap out of us. <laughs> so, we went to the kitchen. There was really nothing. Except... Send help. Yes, there was that. Hmm. We did get that. Okay, you know what? I want to try one more experiment. And somebody might not like this. It's not me. No, it's not you. <laughs> Megan, I know you're not an investigator. But I think it might be something with females in this room. Yeah. But then what happened with you? I think it just... It, I think it wanted me out. It was more gentle with you, but not with me. That is true. So... And because you're not an investigator, I'm actually going to give you the choice, okay? Okay. You're going to swap cameras with Ashley. Oh no. I'm only doing this for 30 seconds. No, <laughs> you're not going to go for 30 60. seconds. But I'm giving, again, I'm going to give you the choice. I'll do okay? it. I'll do it. Oh my god. In I'll here. Quiet and quiet. For... 
about five minutes. Okay, okay. About as long as me and Ashley were in there. For I'm time. literally going to count to 65 times. I wouldn't normally do this to a non-investigator, but due to the contrast of physical touch between myself and Ashley, I decided this would be an interesting experiment. Is there yeah. any iron in here? No. <laughs> I don't know, I've heard that like repels ghosts. Yeah, you saw Supernatural. Here's the I thing. Did, I'm... Here's the thing. She's stalling. I am. And <laughs> so to stop the stalling, we're gonna go now, all right? <laughs> Megan, I love you. I love you guys too. And start the clock once we close the door, all right? Okay. Okay. Is it recording? Yep, time? it's recording. Okay. All right. All right. Three. Bye, hon. Two. Bye, guys. Okay. Let's go upstairs. Why do I have to do this? Yeah, me too. Oh good, they just caught something on video and oh my god, it's so cool. Um, turn the GoPro off. It's dead. Yeah. Did you get that? I caught it, I caught it, I caught it. Did you get that? I caught it, off? I f***ing got it. Holy s***. The door opened. Just opened up. Okay. As soon as I... He wasn't you... even anywhere near it. He's pretty much where he's standing when he opened when it opened. Yeah, that opened. But I watched it. I heard it and watched it open. Yeah, and I got it on camera. This was unbelievable. The door that has been shut all night long suddenly opens up for no logical reason. Not only was I nowhere close to the door, but only a mere two hours prior, we tested Stephanie's claim by making sure the door was stuck closed and that any stomping or banging would not cause it to open up. Also, with the boosted audio, you can hear the door unstick from the top of the door frame. Did you get that? I caught it, I caught it. I... No, I, I want to demonstrate this on camera. That was me. But, again. There's no way. No. And you, and the thing is, when it opened, you heard it like unstick, like something had to put, like... Something had to push on it. That, it made that noise. Okay, if you are here, can you just please not come from the left, because there's like bare stuff over there, and it's creepy. Oh, and no faces, please. Please don't project yourself or anything. If you want to touch me, that's fine. Just, I don't want to see you. No offense. It's just a lot for my reality. I just want to let you know I'm not scared. This is just new for me. You know what? I know it's weird, but can animal spirits come around? Because there are like two dead coyotes. I think there's two dead foxes on the wall and one dead bear, and behind me is a big moose rug. So <clears throat> I'm just pointing that out there for anybody who believes that there may or may not be, because I'm not sure, because I don't know, um, spirits of animals lingering around the building.
that's longer than five minutes. Yeah. You want to check on her? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Yes. I told it. I was like, I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable now. If you want to make a slight movement in here, yeah, I can. So, I did, heard you guys from upstairs. So you heard what happened? Yeah, and I was like, we caught I, it on I camera. I held myself so tight. I was like, please don't come touch me now. Yeah, we got it on camera. Yeah, it was on camera. You want to show her? Yeah, I want to see it more. Here, like, I'm scared. Zoomed it on your butt. Yeah. 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 Did you get that? I caught it. I caught it. I caught it. Did you get that? I caught it. I fing got it. Holy <laughs> shit. Yes, you're like, I can't. The door opened. I opened up. That's awesome. Wait until she sees that. At this point, we split up one final time. Megan and Ashley will enter the pensioner's cottage, a detached building on the museum property, while myself and Kathy try to use some provocation to bring out the spirit that earlier jabbed me in the back. Alright, I'll let you guys have it in here. Okay. I'll shut the door, though. Okay. Alright, okay. thank you. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. This guy. Is anybody in here with us? in here because it's not insulated. Is there anybody still living in this in this house? Whoever you were in here, doors closed. I'm the only one returning here. I want you to do what you ended up doing to me and Ashley this time to Kathy. Do you like men in here? If you had enough to poke, you got enough to make a noise in here. Why don't you touch me like you did them? Kathy's inviting you to touch her. You did it to me without an invite. Why aren't you going to do it? It's kind of cowardly. Look, she's got less on her. Now she's even more open. Mm -hmm. Hey, come on, touch me. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm really not afraid. You're not scaring me. If I start touching stuff in here, will you get pissed off? Ooh, that feels nice and smooth. I'm touching your stuff. You know what? There's... I'm just not feeling anything in here at all. Yeah, you know what? Neither am I. I'm hoping he'd come back in, but I'm not feeling I'm it. I'm not, no. I'm, I'm, I'm being genuine when I say this. I really think it's just Ashley. Mm-hmm. I think when Ashley comes back, I want to do one with her in here. I want to see. It doesn't feel like anything at all. No, that isn't. This is the only place I did feel weird. What? <laughs> What's wrong with me? This is the only space that I did. 
Me and Kathy are in the wool room or the uh, fur room, and absolutely nothing. We don't feel anything in here. Seriously? That's kind of how I felt. Nothing. We called it a car. And not a single thing. Like there's, it's not a huge place. We got a lot of footage of it, but there's no activity. Okay. Oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah, you have to come out this way. You can't go at the back. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, where's Megan? Um, She's coming. Okay. Ash, I'd like to go in there with you. Cause, well, Megan doesn't feel comfy in that house. If you want to bring her back. She doesn't comfy. She doesn't feel comfy. She, mm -hmm. she didn't. No, Megan didn't like the the cottage. Okay, no, I'm gonna go in there with her. Okay, then we're gonna have the light. Yeah, that's fine. Um, she said you didn't feel comfy in there. I I just felt like they they said it was fine, but I just felt like it was like um I don't know. It just didn't feel eerie to me. Like, it didn't feel as welcoming as to you, like, I, I guess. I thought it was very comfy. Yeah. I mean, okay. it's got the comfy cottage vibe for sure, and it smells like it, yeah. too. But, uh... So, mm -hmm. here's what's gonna happen. Kathy and Ashley are gonna go back in that fur room. Okay. Uh, I'm wondering if it'll be a difference if a guy is in there with you. Okay. And see, and see what happens. Okay. All right? Okay. Good luck. Yeah, we need it. Alrighty. All right, let's go. All right, let's try it. Okay. Um, I kind of, uh, we both antagonized. Yes, and I'm not about to do that since it does. It will come to you. Yeah. Exactly. So we won't do that. So it's just that very back uh, cottage there? Yeah. I okay. can't remember the name, but it was a shoulder, and they got two this and two acres of land, and it was originally not on this property. It was moved from another street. Okay. In the area, though. All right. But it wasn't always on this property. <laughs> All right. So it needs to be locked. No, it's, it's, it's caught on the bottom stuck. here. Oh. It's a little weird in here. Right. Like it would felt like static as soon as you walked in. It just I don't know. It feels like I don't know what it feels like. I can't explain it. It's maybe because it's not a house and it's not all maybe. like luxury. It's just the basic thing. Maybe that's why I'm getting more creeped out because it is just like a, a little cabin-ish thing. So in the house it's more open and stuff, so maybe that's why I'm feeling that it's less welcoming in here. Like I also have claustrophobia, so uh, I it's think a lot smaller it's so here. small in here, so it might just be that. Like I have really bad claustrophobia, so okay, I think might it might it. also be that. It feels heavy in here again, but not as heavy as what it was when we were burned in here. Mm -hmm. Do you like us being in your personal space? Yeah, my chest feels kind of heavy. Mine does too. I just took my mask down to see because sometimes it happens with the mask. And now it's still doing the same thing. I feel like I'm going to be sick. <clears throat> yeah, okay, let's just go get some air because I feel the same. Yeah. It's the same feeling I had before. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I'm Much cool. better. Ooh. That is one heavy room. It is very heavy. Like, I felt sick. Mm. So did she. Mm. Yeah, he still uses that to make prints.
Yeah, it might it might be your claustrophobia because me personally, it's. You know what? Here's the very I weird thing. I feel like I want to throw up and cry. Is that weird? <laughs> like, that's not me. No, it's not you. It's like. It's no, I'm like I say. That's not what I'm feeling. Here. Yeah. I know. I don't know what's wrong with me. I said that to Ashley. I'm like, it's so weird. It's like, I don't know. Um, this is even like the weirder thing, though. This the way I feel in here is exactly how I felt with Kathy in that fur room. Like absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's just very bizarre. Right. I mean, we might run into places where we don't necessarily feel that. Yeah. And I don't know what promotes ghosts to like do what they do in front of people and if they're more susceptible to do it around people that are they're normally around like the people who work there right the we're strangers to them they don't they're not comfortable or used to us yeah right i'm just wondering like what it is that makes them more active or why they're more active around certain people or something like mm -hmm. that i don't know if that's like a i don't know if it's a random question but no I think we should sit together, the four of us, in one room in the house and just stay silent. Like, have the cameras near us, one filming all four of us, like, and just listen to see what we can hear. Like, I'll I think... I like that idea. For the, like, for at least, like, just 15 minutes of just, like, calming down the house. Uh, no, actually, I like that other idea, or that first idea you had, and the reason why. Um, How are you guys doing in there? <laughs> The way I felt in the fur room is exactly how I feel in here. Like, there's there's nothing. Yeah, see? Like, and then we just got out of the fur room because me and Kathy started feeling like we couldn't breathe, we were going to be sick. Like, we felt very nauseous. What the f***? Weird, dude. That's weird. Okay, um, weird. I, a person, and I think I told uh, Kathy this, and then we, I said it to her on camera. This is you, Ashley. It's not any of us. This is you. Gee, thanks. Make me the reason. <laughs> like I said, like, Kathy is, or uh, Ashley's a conduit. So she, everything circles around her. And she's She's taking the brunt of all the energy, you know what I mean? Except not in here. Yeah. So I really think there's absolutely nothing going on in this in this area at all. Okay, you can stay in there for a little bit if you want, but me and Megan are going to be uh, coming back in the house, so don't be alarmed if you hear any uh, extra noises. Okay. I don't know what she said, but let's go. She said okay. <laughs> all right. I'm not sure though. Yeah, absolutely nothing in there. Yeah. yeah, when we went in, it was very heavy. We couldn't really breathe. It felt like we were gonna, like we were not. Like you too, Kathy? Oh yeah. I came out and I had a headache. I have one too. And I didn't before I went back in that room. Yeah. We are now setting up for our final experiment inside of the parlor room, which back in the day was used to hold funeral ceremonies. Ironically, we are also ending the night where we began. This is our last few minutes in here. We're sitting here by ourselves in complete silence. I'm going to be putting a recorder that will capture your voice. I'm going to put it in the middle here. And I'm going to press record now. So anything you want to say, we'll be quiet. And we'll just be here to listen, right? You good? Mm -hmm. Okay, I just want to make sure because I hate when I see your head down. Because it just makes me nervous. Didn't know before seeing that. Camera. It, it just feels like 
see the problem here. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I'm what are you doing? Yeah, it's like someone watching that. It's like eyes. That's what I was going to do. Yeah. yeah. But it's not, it's, they're not in the room. No. Yeah. No, it's like that doorway. Yeah. I feel really cool. I'm going to do that. It just. I feel so cold. It's getting a little, like, but not much. Like, it's just. I do want to ask one question. Yeah. Dr. Park, what was your favorite part about being a doctor? <clears throat> if you're watching us in the doorway on my left, can you make a noise? In a few minutes, we are going to say goodbye. Can you either tell us goodbye or make a noise to acknowledge that we are leaving? Like maybe the bells at the front door? I do want to say before we go, this house is absolutely stunning. It is gorgeous. You are very lucky to live here in the afterlife for as long as you want to. I'm getting chills. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And Stephanie is very appreciative of the company that you are giving her and her guests, like ourselves. Do you agree that Stephanie does a great job? Because we certainly do. We think she respects this place so much and loves it as if it was her own. And we love it here too. And although you, you gave us a couple frights. That was you making contact with us, and you did as we asked from the beginning of the night, and we are very grateful for that. And we thank you for hosting us here tonight. If you heard and acknowledged everything that I had said, can you please? make a noise as your way of saying goodbye to us I was just thinking that too what? the fridge stop yeah right when you said that <laughs> getting goosebumps again but I don't know there's no noise Is that hang on, is that your way of saying good night to us? The fridge stopped. No, the yeah, like the fridge hasn't. Dude, been, what the? Is that sh- night long? Mm-hmm. Usually, it, it was, it's been it, constant. It's, really it's, yeah, after. and it just stopped. Right when you were saying that. 
And then there was a noise right after. Yeah. We're coming from the basement where the fridge is. Hey, Mark, you want to do a solid? What? Go real nuts. I like going downstairs. Go. <laughs> 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 If that's your way of saying goodnight to us, we are going to call it a night here, and I'm going to end the recording.